Dear friends, my name is Roberto Ortiz. I'm a Christian and a believer of the truth contained in this book, the Bible, which is the precious Word of God. The relation of God spoken by the person of God's well-beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who having accomplished in perfect obedience and submission to the will of God the Father, the work of redemption. When Jesus willingly went to the cross in the place called Calvary, there, in that place, he was put unto death. The Bible says that he bore our sins in his own body on the tree. He is the living sacrifice for sin. And therefore, he became the redeemer of those who trust and believe in him. Dear friends, it is a tremendous privilege to take these few minutes to meditate about Jesus Christ. Someone once said that perhaps the highest privilege ever given is that we should be allowed to contemplate Christ, to contemplate the wonders of his person, to meditate about his glories and the work that he accomplished on the cross. The Bible says that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once. Friends, Christ came into the world to save sinners, the Bible says. His sacrifice on the cross and his death is the payment for sin. But we also need to consider his resurrection from the dead. The Bible says that after he was buried, he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And today we have the privilege, my friends, to meditate upon the resurrection of Christ as there is no event in human history that comes close to the importance of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. His resurrection is the cornerstone of Christian faith. The Bible says, if Christ is not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. The resurrection of Christ is the foundation of the gospel, is the guarantee of heaven. Without resurrection, my friends, there is no redemption. The resurrection is not just an aspect of Christianity. It is the prominent figure. Dear friends, this short message is directed to you. And it is the message of good news, the gospel. Good news from God, from heaven to you. And the essence, the very essence of the gospel message is that there is life after death. And that you can know now where you will spend eternity. I would like to finish by quoting a verse of the Bible from the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 11. The verse says this, And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. I hope you will trust God at His word. Thank you for listening.